Louise, stop it! Could you do this to Sheridan? We're all good. You guys stop fighting! Somebody help! Break, break them up! Quick, get in here! Get off the hand! Take that one! Get off me! Get off me! All right, get, go on! Calm, 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 calm down! Both of you! What the hell is the matter with you people? Having a street brawl in here, wrecking my hospital! I want Sheridan out of this place! You know what? Too bad, I'm her husband, and I say she stays. Yeah, on paper you are, but she loves me. I can't see Just you. shut up, you two! I mean, you both claim to love Sheridan, and then you come in here causing this ungodly ruckus from the very place where he's treated in a calm and tranquil environment. Yeah, well, Sheridan doesn't belong here. She belongs somewhere with people who love her. I love her. I'm her husband. And she needs to be here. She needs a psychiatrist. Sheridan is not insane. She's not insane, and you know it! It's not you talking, Antonio, is it? Huh? What's putting this stuff into your head, huh? Who talked you into committing Sheridan to this damn psych ward? Be careful, Antonio. What are you going to tell your brother? Are you going to rat me out? <laughs> so what's going on here, Antonio? Huh? Why don't you tell me? Who's behind you having Sheridan locked up in this place? Go ahead, Antonio. Go ahead, why don't you tell me? Who the hell have you been talking to? I haven't been talking to anybody. Right. We all know Sheridan needs help. I mean, she still thinks that Beth's baby is hers. Look, she needs a psychiatrist, Louise. And I've done research, and this is the best place for her. No, it's not. Because I know Sheridan better than anyone, and I'm telling you she deserves to be at home with the person she loves. Me. Damn you, Louise. All right, I've heard enough. I'm having both of you escorted off the premises, and I'm leaving orders. Neither one of you will ever see Sheridan again. Not ever again. You don't know what you're talking about. You can't keep me from seeing Sheridan. And she's my wife. I'll see her whenever I want. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but my patient's health comes first, and you're doing nothing to help. Excuse me. Uh, I have to take this call. Hey, if you think you can keep me from seeing my wife, you've got another thing coming. Of course not. You're her husband. You certainly can visit Sheridan any time during visiting hours. However, I am not going to let her see anybody else. What? No, I gotta see Sheridan. No, no. We've been through this before, haven't we, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald? You are only her brother-in-law. You have no legal rights regarding Sheridan here. Please escort him off the grounds. No, I gotta see Sheridan! Get your hands off of me! I got Sheridan! Get your hands off of me! I just want to talk to Sheridan! Le Sheridan! Luis, just leave. You and I'll have our little talk later. Get, Get him out of here. All right! All right! All right, I just... I'll calm down, all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Look, I, I just want to make sure that Sheridan is getting the best care possible. I'm sure that she is. Hey, you heard Antonio. He did the research to make sure that this was the best place for her. Look, you, you can let go of me now, okay? I'm not going to fight anyone, okay? Just want to talk to the doctor. All right. Let him go. Thank you, gentlemen. I can assure you that Sheridan is getting the best possible care. Dr. Acklin, it's time for Sheridan's medication. What medication? Well, yeah, what medication? Thank you, nurse. <laughs> Nothing to be alarmed about. It's just part of the treatment. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it better be or else you're going to be answering to me. I, I don't 
want more trouble with you, trust me. Well, you're not gonna have any trouble as long as you're doing the right thing. Oh, my baby. Come here. What's wrong? Oh, did you miss your mommy? Hi. I think he's hungry. Um, I tried to feed him his formula, but he won't take it. He needs Sheridan. She needs to feed him. Oh, but, but what about Sheridan's medication that she's on? Is her breast milk safe for him? Plus, yeah. she's really out of it. I don't think that she can nurse him. Shh, shh. It's okay. The medication's safe. And I'm aware that Sheridan has been breastfeeding your baby. If she's still sedated, we'll express milk for your baby. Okay, I'll, I'll go call a pediatric nurse, okay? okay. You know, maybe I should uh, send someone over to Sheridan's. I mean, the, the little guy's hungry. I know Sheridan expressed some milk. It's in the refrigerator from earlier. I'm Sheridan's husband. I still live at the cottage. I'll call the mansion. I'll have somebody bring some milk over. You know, why the hell did you do this anyway? You know, why didn't you tell me that you were sending Sheridan to the psych ward? What the hell's going on, Antonio? Well, why the hell didn't you consult me on this, Antonio? Huh? Why would I consult you? I'm doing what's best for Sheridan. Why don't you try and remember that I'm her husband and all you are is a brother-in-law? Yeah, well, I'm the one that Sheridan loves. It's not you. And you know that I'm just a little more than a brother-in-law, aren't I? Okay, Louise, calm down. You're gonna upset the baby. You know, I don't know why you're doing this. I guess I can help you keep her. You know, uh, when Sharon gets out of this place, and she will get out, she's just gonna divorce you. Yeah, I can guarantee you that. Get you out of there, Sheridan. I swear I will. <laughs> 